Hey, listen, you don't have to be an expert in NFTs and know exactly how much some picture of some skunk or monkey is worth. You don't have to look at cryptocurrency and go out there and buy all the Bitcoin and leverage your house. You don't even have to buy some stupid course or some fake guru in some jet driving a Lambo with a whole bunch of chicks around. You don't even have to do any of that. The first thing you need to do to get out of the impoverished mindset is to follow these five tips that I used to get out of poverty as well. Poor people think in a certain way and rich people think in a certain way. Poor people can change their habits and their mindset. And so number one thing you need to do is to know that you're a steward of your money and you're also its boss. See, a lot of people think that, okay, oh my God, I'm making this money and now I'm, I gotta decide, you know, where my money is going to work for me. Your money is essentially your employee. You get to command your money where you want to. And understanding that you're the CFO of your own company. Once you have that mindset that every dollar I make, I'm in command of it, things start opening up for you because you start realizing, are you wasting resources or are you using your resources wisely? So get that mindset right. You're the money maker and therefore you're the boss. Number two is know your dough. Know exactly how much money you're making. Average person out on the street, yeah, maybe, maybe they'll pull out their paycheck. Maybe they'll go to their bank card or show you something on an app. But I want you to really become an expert in your company, in your brand, in your household, for your family. Know exactly how much money you're making. It's key and essential. And know how much money you're spending. Where's all these dollars going? How many times have you ended up at the end of the month with a big fat zero or a bunch of overdraft fees on your bank account or where did it all go? You have no sense in where the money is going. So I need you to start to do that with your mind is to know that you have to know your dough. Did you know that household incomes in 2020 dropped 3%? Couple that with inflation at a rise of almost 7%, you're in the hole 10% already. So if you don't start to become a steward and a master of your money, Nobody else is going to come to your aid. There is no financial 911 because I'm gonna call some hot shot with a course that's gonna come and help me. These are things that you need to take responsibility for right now. Number three, I want you to plan for surprises. There's no such thing as a huge surprise. You know your car breaks down and you know things happen, people lose jobs, that's just life. You could start to plan out your surprises right now like you're planning a surprise party. All you need to do is, you know it's $600 a year in maintenance for your car, add $50 to a different account. Start to put that money away now, and then guess what? There is no surprise, there's only the party. Number four, be flexible and have movement. For example, you know that your grocery budget was 200 bucks, but you end up splurging on some almond milk or something, right? So n now you know you need to cut down you know, $10 out of your budget because you overspent. You take those $10, you knew you were gonna buy, I don't know, a sweatshirt or a hat or whatever you wanted that was in your budget. Now you know you have to cut that item's price down or not get that item whatsoever. So be flexible enough. So if you win some, you, you gotta lose some and move your money around where it matters. Because guess what? Rule number one still applies. You are the boss of your own money. Before I give you number five, if you like this content and it resonates with you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Number five is treat investing and saving as though it is a reward, not a punishment. A lot of people think, Ugh, investments or savings it's like a chore if you change your mindset about the fact that if you have enough money saved over you've actually done something you've accomplished something most americans don't have a significant savings so think of it as a reward for you to be able to invest that money investing is also a reward you get the opportunity to make your money work for you rule number one was what you are the steward and the boss of your money so now now it's time to reap their rewards. If you're having trouble and issues with debt, go ahead and click here and watch the next video.